welcome back to Tinker Time. Today we're looking at the Roly 35T and this is a new camera to me and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, experience this for the very first time with all of you out on YouTube. There are a number of videos about the 35T but not a lot of them so I'm going to load some film into the camera, tell you a little bit about what I do know about the camera and I'll tell you there are a lot of things I don't know about it so I can't wait to learn. <laughs> and figure it out with a little bit of trial and error. From 1974 to 1978, it is a very small, very compact 35 millimeter camera and a couple of cool things about it. One of them is that the lens tucks away inside the camera. It locks into place like this when it's time to take photographs. The lens on the camera is a Tessar 40 millimeter 3.5. It's made by Roly. I don't know how many times Carl Zeiss had lenses made by other folks, uh, but in this particular case, Rolly's making the lens for them. So taking a quick look around the camera, there are basic functions that are laid out with dials on the front, with focusing on the lens, and it even gives you a nice little uh, uh, grid readout as far as the focal distance depending on which aperture you've selected. Quick look around the camera, we have the Zeiss 40 millimeter 3.5 aperture lens. On this dial here, you're able to select your shutter speed. It goes all the way up to 500, and then you can also take it all the way down to bulb if you want to do some long exposure stuff. Half a second otherwise, uh, if you're not using a cable release or if you're not in a very stable situation. F-stops. The way you change the aperture on the Roly 35T is that there's a little button right here. When you have it held down, you can Turn around all the way from 3.5 up to f22. There's a nice little reminder dial on this side here where you can click in the type of film that you have loaded into the camera in case you forgot. On this dial here is where you're going to be able to select the ISO of the film. You're going to use that dial if you're using the matchstick light meter that's included in the camera. Now for that to work you'd have to have the battery working in it. There are batteries available for the Roly 35T. I do not have the battery installed on this one. I might do it in the future but in general with cameras like this where it's uh, a little bit more stripped down with Sony 16. The way you retract the lens is you push this handy little button here and you twist the lens. It retracts back into the body of the camera. I've put a little shutter release on top of it in black, but uh, you know, really, you don't need to have it. All right, let's load some film into the Roly 35T for the very first time. And what I want to test out is some of Lomography's film. This is Lomography 35 millimeter ISO 100 fine color film. I've not tried this out before, but I think I'd like to try it out for the first time. And why not on the Roly 35? As far as I can tell, the first thing that you want to do is hit this switch here in order to release, here we go, the bottom part of the film body. So now that we have the camera open, you're going to flip this little bay down, take our film cartridge and insert it here. Okay. So with the film later out, we're going to insert it here. There are some arrows ready on the spool. In order to advance the lever, we're going to have to have the lens out on the 35. It's missed it. Let's try it again. So let's try it. The first time I tried this out, the leader didn't catch into the film spool, so let's try it again. Okay, this time I'm going to let a little bit more film dangle out of the edge, and perhaps it will stay in a little bit better. Looks like it's in there a little bit better now. That looks a little bit better, so it's in there tight. Everything seems to be proper. We're going to put this back on now. 
And with the 35T, there are grooves on either side. We want to make sure that it all fits back in nicely. It looks like it's snug. All right, we are loaded and ready to take some photographs with the Rolly 35T and Lomo's 100 ISO color film.